Let me ask you this. This might be of interest to the fans. You were around a young rock, Dwayne The Rock Johnson, one of the biggest superstars in Hollywood. You were around him when he was living in little territory motels. Yeah. What, were you, what are your memories of a young rock? Temperamental. What's that now? Have a bad temper. Did he? Yeah, very hot-headed. Now, how old was he when you were around him, would you say, if you were guessing? I knew him when he was four, five. Oh, really? that six. young? Wow. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. He always had a, a temper. Yeah. You know, you can even see him sometime in him. He got a very bad temper. Yeah. He wrote a about, little about that in one of his books. Yeah, he's books, very, yeah. He, he could be a real hothead at one at that time, you know. Yeah, he, but, but he always was, he always, he, he always was a, a hard worker, a very humble young man, you know. Success, as you can see, never went to his head. He, you know, he's very gracious. Uh, he's a great kid, but, but he, when he was young, he had a very, very bad temperament. I mean, worse than man. I had a bad temper, but not as bad as his. He, really? He was very temperamental when he was young. All right. Well, let me ask you this. Everybody, you know, when you do these quote-unquote shoot interviews and things like that, they want all the dirt and the negative stories. Any positive memories of when you and Rocky teamed up and won the titles? No. <laughs> None? None. All right. Well. We would have became our butt if they kept us separated. Are you happy that you've made peace with them? Yeah. Good. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm very happy that we was able to sit down and, and discuss our uh, differences, you know. But Rocket's a great guy. I like Rocket. Uh, Even I despite the, all that shit that he spoke, you still think highly of him? Yeah, yeah. Good. I don't, don't pay that no man. Well, it is yeah. professional wrestling Because well, you got to realize what they did to him. He got a lot of anger. Yeah. And, he, and he's pointing out everybody. Rocket Johnson's career ended in 1982. Why is that? They, they wouldn't book him no more. So Think about it. How did he wind up with you then? No, we, that's when we lost the belt. You lost the belts in 82? We won them in 82. And when, well, what year we lost them? I think 83? you lost them in 84. 84? Yeah. That was the end of Rocket's career. He right really there. didn't do much after that. Vince never called him back again. What did he go on to do for work? Just do you independence. Know? Just into, that's how, that was how he lived? Was on independent wrestling with a, a wife and kid? Really? But they was all grown then. They was all grown then. The Rock was all grown. He was in college, played football, and all that stuff. The kids were grown. <laughs> but you stop and think about it. Where did Rocky Johnson went to work after we dropped the title? Nowhere. Nowhere. Tony Atlas went to AWA. Tony Atlas went to World Class. Tony Atlas went to Puerto Rico. Tony Atlas came back to the WWF to do Saba Seba. Where was Rocky in the 90s? They didn't use him Nowhere. for nothing. No, and in the 90s, they were hot to try to try and sign anybody and when they had and the Rocket competition. Was not, Rocket, they, they ended his career. They did In 1980, they ended Thunderbolt Patterson's career when they started WCW. That was the end of Thunderbolt Patterson. Well, he ran into some problems down in Georgia, right? Yeah, he was black. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Tony, I love it. You call it as you see it, buddy. That's why yeah, we love he this. He was a black man that thought he could speak up like a white man. All right, let's wrap it up. It looks like you're ready to get into the, uh, the snacks again. Tony, if you could... Sum up Rocky Johnson in a few sentences. The good, the bad, and the in-between. Rocky Johnson is, is, is a trailblazer for bodybuilders, athletic. Rocky Johnson brought grace and style to uh, pro wrestling. I mean, when you watch him wrestle up and you watch Dwayne as a Democrat, the same shaking of the leg, the same move. You put a match of Rocky Johnson, put a match of Dwayne Johnson, you see it's not much different between them. They wrestled the same. Rocky was one of the pioneers in his business. You know, he was one of the first black men to ever wear a WWE a tag team belt. Uh, he, he, he raised his family. He never neglected his kid. <coughs> he got kids by a premier's wife. He had his I, I met his daughter. His yeah. daughter said that Rocky never forsaked his family. He's a good family man. Uh, he's the one that really trained Dwayne. It wasn't for the Rock. There'd be no. If it wasn't for Rocket Johnson, there'd be no Dwayne Johnson. Uh, I wish that our uh, relationship earlier relationship came out differently, but the times was was different. Right. So if everybody, uh, I, I wrote in my book, I, I I never had fear of any white wrestler. My only problem with black wrestlers, because they only have room for one black on top. See. So if I just sum up things about Rocket, here in the last couple of years, Rocket been a, a great friend to me and my wife. He bailed us out a couple of times when we was low on money. Really? 
Yep, yep, we a couple uh, a couple of times. Uh, 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 I didn't get no bookings, and uh, Rocky called me up, asked me how I was doing. My wife got to talk to his wife. Next thing I know, I go to the mail. Rocky paid my mortgage one year. For a year? Yeah, I'm that one year. You're doing that year he did. Oh, 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 I for see one what you month. mean. Yeah, yeah, he really? sent me money, and that's part of the money he's started, he's mad as I stiffed on because Maybe. I didn't pay him back. I didn't give that money back to him yet. That's what he's talking about there. Cause I remember one time I told Rocky, I said. Well, I hope they don't cancel this show because I got to pay my mortgage. He said, how much is your mortgage? So I told him. Then the next day, his wife called and said, and said what's your uh, address? And Rocket is sending you some money through Western Union to pay your mortgage. Wow. Well, yeah. so you know what? For the heat that there has been over the years, there is some goodwill. Well, well, Rocket done that. And I think, I think the Rocky might now have Now he wants me to give it back to him because he read my book. But I say some pretty horrible things about Rocket and, and uh I want to tell Rocky I'm sorry for what I said, but at that time, I didn't understand why he did what he did. But now that I know why he did what he did, then I don't hold nothing that happened between us again. When you guys had this powwow, when you kind of made peace, did he explain that to you, that the reason yeah, he, he did? He yeah. Okay, well, you know, yeah. he was honest about it, if yeah. nothing else. Well, that's why I don't hold nothing against him, because he told me why he did what he did. He was trying to protect his career. Because they, he knew, he knew more about the business I did. He was in it longer. Mm -hmm. He started in the 60s. So he knew that eventually they're going to replace the old bull with the young bull. Mm -hmm. He knew that was going to come sooner or later. Rock is about 10 years older than me. Oh, People he's that old? Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. I think he just had his hip replaced. Yeah. If you want to send him a text message. I'm him doing a show together uh, next month. Really? Yeah, the 20. Uh, it's gonna be in in, in Pennsylvania. Alfred and Seek are gonna be there. Oh Mayor wow! Rocker. Yeah, we still That's do quite a little reunion. Us. Yeah, it's gonna be in in uh in May. I'm doing a thing with Rocket in May. All right. I well, think it's the 26th. Hopefully, the good vibes continue. What more can you say? Life's you know, too short but, not to be friends Rocket, if you Rocket can. Rocket is a great guy. He he been over back for for his friend. But we did have a rough a rough go over in our younger days. The World Wrestling Federation was live at Buffalo Memorial Auditorium in Buffalo, New York, Monday, February the 6th, 1985. In the opening contest, Salvatore Balomo drew Billy Red Lions. Jim the Anvil Neidhart with the win over Chief Jay Strongbow. Hillbilly Jim defeated Moondog Spot. Don Morocco victorious over Rick McGraw. Black Jack Mulligan beat Moondog Rex. Superfly Jimmy Snuka with the win over Cowboy Bob Orton. And in the main event, Andre the Giant and the Junkyard Dog battled Big John Studd and Ken Patera to a double disqualification. If you were in Buffalo Live, share your memories in the comment section below. Use the links in the description box to help keep wrestling legends working in our eBay store and on our acclaimed Patreon streaming service so we can bring you more interactive superstar shoot interviews to relive the good old days of professional wrestling. Check it out. Boston Wrestling Sports and the MWF explodes into a new year with professional wrestling content galore and need you to join our family. Every Tuesday night at 10 p.m. after our Monday Night Raw review, it's Wrestling Inside Us at your house with WWE Hall of Famer Mr. USA Tony Atlas. Wednesday nights at 10 p.m. after NXT and AEW, join rotating legends on Wrestling Insiders Special Edition. Every Thursday night at 10 p.m. after our NXT and Dynamite review, it's Marty Jannetty's No Holds Barred Sex, Drugs, and Rock and Roll Journey on Wrestling Insiders Party with Marty. Friday night after SmackDown, don't miss John Cena Sr.'s Wrestling Insiders Fabulous Fridays. Plus, look for classic clips, history videos, bonus live episodes, pay-per-view watch-alongs, and more. For less than a cup of coffee at Starbucks, get early ad-free access to our Wrestling Insider talk shows, our acclaimed studio shoot interview DVD library, and help keep wrestling legends working during the worst of times. Join our growing family at patreon.com backslash Boston Wrestling. Expect the unexpected in 2021.